Hello friends. In this video is a story about the most memorable battle from the military life of the Soviet tanker who fought on the tank T-34 and went through all the horrors of war. After all, war is something unimaginable, it's a nightmare. In 1943 we were constantly chasing the retreating German troops, who hurriedly withdrew without fighting with us. I remember how near Rostov our unit moved through large villages along the roads. These villages were so large that sometimes stretched for several kilometers, so that, entering one of these villages from one side, we did not know what was happening at the other end. Addressing the locals, we asked, When was the last time the Germans were here? And we were answered, Two hours ago, three, etc. When we continued our movement and asked the question again, we were already told about the presence of Germans half an hour ago, and after that, quite recently, and finally they are, in the last huts. We rush there, break out of the village and start fighting. One morning, we approached one such village, where a fierce battle was already going on. Our tanks were burning like torches, and there were dead or wounded soldiers and tankers lying all over the area. We attacked the village from the start, descending from the hill, but the Germans saw us and opened such a fire that we, despite the frost, became hot. Our loader does not have time to throw shells into the cannon. I hit in all directions without much consideration houses, barns, streets. In the end, our attack was stifled and we lost several of our tanks. The open and flat terrain around the village gave the Germans an opportunity to destroy our tanks quietly. We, on the contrary, did not see a clear target and fired only at suspicious places. I was also hit. A shell hit the periscope and I was blinded, that is, I could no longer observe the battlefield from the tank. Clenching my teeth, I ordered the mechanic. Let's go back. We retreat to the original position. The attack again fails. I inspect my vehicle and see that some armor-piercing bullets are stuck in the armor, and the shell that hit the periscope cut it off like a knife. If it had hit a little lower, my head wouldn't have turned on its neck it would have been torn off and I wouldn't have this story. Half an hour later we again rushed to attack the village with all the remaining tanks. A lot of noise, shooting, fire and smoke. Our loader again doesn't have time to load the cannon. And while he's loading, I'm firing a machine gun. Everything is burning, the village is burning, the tanks are burning. I look through the sight and see lightning flashing from behind the fence of the house. Then I feel a strong blow on my head. Immediately there is a sweet taste in my mouth, and around my head there are thousands of sparks of different colors. My body no longer obeys me it slides down the seat. That's it. I find myself on the ammunition rack and only then I hear the second blow on the tank, and then nothing else. I wake up, I can't breathe. It's hot. I grabbed the edge of the hatch and crawled halfway out. Fresh air, captured by my lungs, immediately suffocated me. And once again everything disappears. I regain consciousness lying on the snow. The mechanic is covering me with snow. My clothes are on fire. But we captured the village. I ended the war in Berlin. Out of a hundred of my peers, only three survived. During the war I lost four tanks. Three times I was wounded, burned, concussed and almost deaf. Tankers are exposed to shell fire and God forbid more to experience the impact of a shell on a tank with four or five battle comrades in it and then to experience the nightmare of fire, death, and horror. War is something unimaginable. Friends, thank you for your attention. Don't forget to rate, write comments, share the video with your friends. See you in new videos and new memories of a soldier.